Do you have a narcissistic resume and you don't even know it? I'm gonna walk you through the four signs that your resume is pretentious and more importantly, what you can do about it. All right, let's talk about the narcissistic resume. Uh, this is when you try way too hard. You can look super desperate if you don't make your resume in the latest format. What do I mean by the latest format? Well. Recruiters are getting hundreds, sometimes thousands of resumes right now. They will not read every single one top to bottom. Do the math, folks. You can't read. You can't take 10 or 15 minutes to read every resume when you get a thousand of them. You've got a hiring manager breathing down your neck saying, give me the top five or 10 candidates. So what they do instead is skim your resume first. It's called the six second resume. You've got about six to 13 seconds, studies show, for them to skim through it. And if they see the five or six main things they were told to look for in a candidate, they will then go back and read your resume more thoroughly. So that means we have to create a resume style that is six second worthy. And these narcissistic resumes are the complete opposite of that. So let's break down the four things that you do not wanna be doing. Number one is the completely self-absorbed summary statement at the top. You know that paragraph people put up there talking about how amazing they are and all the things that they want in their next job and why they're so fantastic? Not getting read. It just, it's like nails on a chalkboard. You open it up and it's, hey, here's why I'm amazing. That's not what they're looking for right now. That is not easy to read. And that leads me into number two, the I'm the Jack or Jill of all trades. Let me put everything I've ever done in my entire lifetime on my resume. What happens when you do that is you end up with half inch margins, nine point font, they're squinting to read it, and there's too much text on the page. In fact, this is a big overarching theme that you want to evolve, evolve and avoid. I can't even say the word right. Let's talk about why you need to avoid it. Because imagine I put a piece of paper up here with one word on it. You could read that in a split second and know what it means. But then I add two words. Well, now you read both pretty quick, but now you've got to think about what the two words mean together. Three words, four words, five words. When you put 10,000 words on a resume page, you have now completely overwhelmed me. I don't have time to read all that as a recruiter. That is not easy. So when you learn how to create a resume that has what we call more empty space on it, and you simplify down, it's actually easier to read and absorb your areas of expertise. Less is more. Think of your resume as teaser copy instead of overwhelming them with too much text, okay? And speaking of text, the third thing you don't want to do that screams you're a narcissist is the multisyllabic subjective terminology where you're trying to hype yourself. Um, you know that language that only people in your industry would understand? Studies actually show when you talk like that, you actually sound less intelligent because you're trying to, again, pretend like you know what you're talking about. You wanna use simple, as much monosyllabic words as you can, and candidly, more numbers. Res resumes should have numbers on them, actual numbers, because re numbers are actually easier to read than words. And it also quantifies you. You've probably heard that about your resume. It should quantify your accomplishments. Don't tell me how you did something, just tell me what the results were and give me the numbers, okay? Show me the numbers, as they say. And then the last thing that really gives it away that you are trying too hard is fancy fonts, multiple colors, tables and graphs and things like that too much. In fact, I've seen a lot of people download these resume formats off, you know, more graphic design type things and not realize that a lot of ATS systems can't even read them. So they're working with this fancy layout or even worse, they spent money on a resume writer. Please don't ever spend money on a resume writer. You shouldn't have to do that. What they do is create this hypey resume to make you feel good about yourself. Meanwhile, it doesn't fit any of the criteria in terms of what a recruiter is looking for. So a lot of these resume writers are guilty of creating the narcissistic resumes that people are using that aren't working for them. So again, simple, simple, simple. Your resume is as dry as toast. It is so plain that when you first look at it, you go, oh my gosh, there's so little there. But here's what happens when you use this six second format. You get calls from recruiters going, it looks like you have the skill sets, but I need more information. Ding, 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 that's what you want. You wanna show low key humility in your resume so that they're like, wow, I think I gotta talk to this person. That's how you're getting the interview. Don't overkill it. In fact, this narcissistic resume format that so many people are using makes it easier for recruiters and hiring managers to screen you out because you're putting too much on them. Okay. Now, if you're going, oh, I think I've done a few of these things, it's okay. I'm going to visually show you what your resume and your LinkedIn profile should look like. Because the good news is what you do on the resume, you actually translate over to LinkedIn. And I did that in a free 
video boot camp. Yes, I'm on this app trying to help 10 million people get new, better paying jobs this year. I'm doing that with a lot of free content like this, a lot of live streams and free resources like my resume and LinkedIn boot camp. It's under an hour long and it literally shows you visually everything I'm talking about so you can see what a six second resume looks like and you can also understand what your LinkedIn profile should look like. This is free. You just go to my bio, you'll find the resume and LinkedIn bootcamp, pop your email address in so I know where to send it and you will get instant access. And I can't tell you how many people have been using that on this app right now. They're updating their resume and they're literally getting job interviews within days. Okay, so what are you waiting for? You have nothing to lose. If you want to get rid of the narcissistic resume and you want a free way to update your resume, it's my resume and LinkedIn bootcamp that is in my bio, okay? But I hope this helped. If you found it helpful, will you help me back? That part's free. Follow me here and post your questions. The only way I'm going to help 10 million people at scale is if you tell me the things that you need the answers to, which I'm happy to do here on this app, okay? Thank you so much. You've got this. Good luck. Go get them.